What's going on everybody? Frank from 5am Ramen here and I'm in the Akihabara area of Tokyo and I'm going to be introducing a basement ramen spot. Think of it as a hidden ramen gem. I wonder if there's ever been a single tourist there. Basement spot serving classic delicious ramen. Let's do this. If this is your first time here, welcome to 5am Ramen. If you're returning, welcome back. 5AM Ramen is all about delivering you the best ramen content straight from Japan. I'm your host, Frank, and I basically eat ramen for a living. Our Akihabara basement ramen shop today is Ramen Tsumugi. It's almost a little tricky to find this place. It's hard to spot from the outside. But this sign here does help, and this is the building. Walk down these stairs, go straight down the hall, and all the way on your right is Ramen Tsumugi. There's something cozy about basement restaurants, and in Tokyo, it just goes to show you that there are restaurants everywhere, not just on the ground level. When you arrive at Ramen Tsumugi, you'll see a ticket machine outside the restaurant. I'm going for their standard ramen. They've got a couple other options on the menu, which I'll talk about later. After taking my photos and videos and finishing up this ramen, here's a recap after I've left Ramen Tsumugi. Now they have a couple ramen choices. Basically the soup is the same. They've got ramen, chuka soba, which is like a ramen in their case that has a little bit more lard. They also have a shio or salt seasoned ramen, a miso ramen, skemen, basically using the same soup. So where they change it up is the seasoning and uh, a few additions like the lard that I mentioned. Now I got their uh, go-to bowl, the ramen. Wanted to start with that since it's the first time I'm visiting here. Yeah, it was delicious. It's basically a pork bone and chicken soup. So you had some richness uh, coming from the pork bones and chicken bones and a little bit more rich and heavy, say, than your typical Tokyo style bowl of classic ramen, which is very much what this is leaning towards. It's classic ramen. In addition to that, you had very strong fish notes. I should say bonito fish notes in particular. And the soy sauce was eh, relatively bold and I will say quite salty. Delicious, delicious soup. Now for toppings, we had negi, naruto maki, and in between classic and modern chashu pork, leaning more towards classic. So not tough, but just soft enough, let's say. Now last but not least, we have the noodles. They were medium thick, but they were very slippery, almost like udon. They had a lot of water in them, but still a wonderful bite to them, of course. And since they had a lot of water in them, they didn't soak up too much of that broth. I think you got just enough of those stronger fish notes, for example. Overall, delicious basement hidden gem spot here in Akihabara. Hope you all enjoyed this quick ramen shop review video. I'm uh, recovering a little bit because yesterday I uh, had a huge bowl with Hachiko District. It was a ridiculously sized bowl of pork and garlic. Oh my God, insane. Feel free to have a watch of that video as well. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. This is Frank from 5am Ramen signing out and reminding you that Tokyo is the only city in the world where you can have amazing ramen at 5am. Thanks for tuning in and hope to see you in the next video.